SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I want to cover this with you all as kind of like something to maybe monitor for the T-Mobile network for 2024. A bit of a situation shared on Twitter slash X, for those of you that know the platform. Uh, really a, a nice uh, cellular network tech enthusiast community there, sharing a lot of their experiences and what they see, what these innovative 5G networks are up to. And this one was shared by EM Tech. And uh, I found something shocking. I didn't even know something like this actually existed. Let me tell you all about it here in today's video. All right, so um, I'll, I'll throw you guys the handle, my X handle. That'll be in the description. Ways to support us can be found in the description as well. All right, so let's get started first with the connection log. So if you're using a Samsung Galaxy, <laughs> a Samsung Galaxy device, you can access the uh, connection log and you can see which channels you're on, which 5G channels. All right, so that you've got N41 at a 100 megahertz channel. You've got N41, a second channel at 40 megahertz. And then you've got an additional five megahertz of N25 for a total of 145 megahertz. Go ahead and pause this video and comment down below and tell me how fast you think the speed should be on this connection. Okay, so 145 megahertz of NR 5G. Go ahead, comment, put your guess in there. I'll wait. Here is the speed test. All right, so the speed test we have from EM Tech, you'll see 5G UC in the upper right-hand corner. Remember, the definition for 5G UC really is just about bandwidth for T-Mobile, right? So they had the bandwidth, plenty of it. Signal was strong, the RSRP was high, and it was about 75 megabits down and 67 megabits up. So hear me out, guys. In and of itself, that connection is perfectly fine. It's quality, it's not an issue. You've got enough speed to do basically whatever you got to do. The problem is going to be when you have several devices, hundreds, possibly thousands, it's not going to work. All right. And the reason guys, it's just there, there's no backhaul on this. There's no fiber circuit to this tower site, right? So it's on a hundred megabit megabits per second that won't get the job done. So in this particular instance, T-Mobile is going to have to upgrade the circuit somehow, some way, even if it's not possible to get a fiber circuit of a gig or 10 gig fiber variety you're gonna have at least have to upgrade the microwave backhaul for the site i know that they've got uh, microwave backhauls that go over a gig per second they're gonna have to do something here so very disappointed in this in terms of the capacity that's available you're definitely not going to be able to do t-mobile home internet there you're just going to be able to provide the most basic of connectivity even if you do have all that bandwidth it just isn't going to cut it Something to watch in 2024 for T-Mobile is scaling and upgrading backhaul circuits so they can properly monetize their network through 5G home internet and through their mobility services. And I will say the same thing EM Tech said in his tweet and his quote, not very capacitive if you ask me. 5G UC, ultra capacity, right? All right, tell me about this. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT nation, let your voice be heard. Peace. You're going to tell him peace? Peace. <laughs>